hi in this session we will see how to select a page in sap smartphone page means that is or type a4 a3 etc second we will see how to set the page orientation that is portrait or landscape third we will see how to create the smart strike with different font size and colors and then we will see how to print the text element in a smart form using the created smart style that all we will see in this session so first go to the transition code smart forms give the smart form name click on create icon give the name sf learning so either we can save in a package or save as a local object now on the left hand side in the component global setting there is form attribute in the form attribute click on output option here you can see the page format by default it is a4 we can select the required format from the available formats okay so here i am going with the din a4 the width of that page is 210 mm and the height is 297 mm okay so we'll be creating a form with this type so second how to set the page orientation that is portrait or landscape so when you create a smart form by default under the component pages and windows one default page is created okay you can change the page name if required now in the page we can see in the output option the option either set as portrait or landscape here we'll go with portrait options so in this way we can set the page format okay now the third one how to create a smart style a smart styles are used for creating the different font size and the colors first activate this now in the form attribute if you see is the style by default it is system style okay but we can create a custom one and assign here so first let's create a text element using this style now by default one main window is there inside the page okay we can do the margin setting of this page here or either to the form painter okay you can see the form painter here if you want to reduce the size we can just do to the graphical interface we can easily change the margin of the main window and click here you can see the new margins are here so now right click create text element write some text keep a path learning you can see in the standard system smart form by default only two formats are given okay so first have a look at the output using this format execute execute so we can see the standard format okay now we'll create a customized smart style for that in the same kitty code that is a smart form go to the smart style you can give any name here i'm using the same name click on create give the description so as local object so on the left hand side you can see the first one is header data second is the paragraph format and third one is the character format by default one is standard paragraph to be assigned okay the so first go to the paragraph format here click on create node or you can create on create icon now first we'll create a heading that is h1 heading 
let's say with font 18 and display at center so here in the alignment we can set alignment so we'll keep the heading at center so when you choose the paragraph format this format will be applicable for that complete line okay so in the font tab we have to select the font family i'm going with the help a and the font set i'm selecting as 18 you can also give the font style so i'm selecting here bold italic if you want to do underline you can do it from here you can observe it observe here at the bottom if you want to do some color you can change the color from here you can see the color here different font colors okay so we can select the font as per our requirement okay so i'm selecting a heading of font size 18 bold italic with this color set now we'll create one more that is let's say l1 let's say font size 12 left 1 mm so what i'm doing here in the alignment i'm doing as left alignment and the left margin and i'm giving as 1 mm okay so if you select this type in the smart form this will print the text area from the left side by giving a 1 mm space now go to font select the font family give the font size as 12 okay set now create one more okay this is fine for as of now now one default is standard paragraph to be assigned so go to header data select by default as l1 that is font 12 now we create one character format create node give the character format as b1 that is bold description bold we will select as 14 size 14 okay again select the font family give the font size as 14 and the style as bold and we will do underline here now what is different between paragraph format and a character format when we create a paragraph format this format is applicable for that complete line that complete row but when we create a character format that character format can be assigned to a particular word you can see in this row the ABCD it is completely in the normal font but this bold 14 that is coming in the bold okay so this is difference in the paragraph format and the character format now just activate this go back copy this is smart style go to our form click on change button in the form attribute click on output options here change assign our style okay now again go to the main window we'll increase the size of main window okay take here save again click on form painter now go to our text element which we have created here we'll change this to heading okay so we'll do as heading font 18 center okay so you can see here that with the 18 font now second go down now what we'll do here 
will select as L1 okay for the line number 2 change here okay let's don't disturb this first uh, text element we'll do the second one okay. create one more text element now here we will select as L1 and just type something a smart form is a GI tool which is used for design of SAP business documents okay now this is the paragraph format in this we will highlight this particular word how to do that select that word go to the character format and then select or character format okay save and activate execute 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 so we can see the heading the different font and color and the text element with a normal font and for the particular word we have used our character format okay so in this way you have print or static text we can also display the dynamic text what is dynamic text let's create one more text element here now here let's see we want to print some field system field okay click on field list here we print a system field for system field there is a structure called sfsy now what we want to print okay we'll select date and time from here so how to print a variable value we have to just select this and drag and drop in the text element okay q semi space now select time just on drag and drop on the screen okay we can also write static text here date time okay activate this execute execute So we can see here we have displayed the static text as well as the dynamic text that is through the variable okay so in this way we are done with this session that is creation of a selecting a page defining the page orientation creating a smart style and printing the text element in with the smart style in the next session we'll see how to create the graphics in SAP smart forms. Thank you.